here to do a resting practice. One thing we notice are the sense perceptions. We have our sense of sight. We're looking around, we notice what's here, the colors, the shapes. We notice our interpretation of that. We have the sounds, the sounds in the room, the sounds outside of our room, the sound of my voice, the sound of your breathing maybe. If you have tinnitus, there might be the sounds in your ears. And then there's our reactions and evaluations of the sounds. If we have a associations of motorcycle gangs, we're gonna have a different association with motorcycles than if we have had a motorcycle or we do have one and we enjoy the feeling of freedom and air on our face as we drive down the highway. Those are two very different associations to the same sound. So much of our experience is how we're associated with different past experiences. What does the primitive brain, the alert system come up with? And that's in our body as well. When we have any kind of painful or tight feeling in our body, we are naturally associating that with something wrong. And instead of going along with the old associations, we're forming new associations. We're starting to really know from experience that when we bring our attention into the tightness in the back of the neck and shoulders, that it softens as we breathe out, it relaxes. I used to walk around really with cement shoulders. My shoulders were so tight, the back of my body felt like it was a cement block. And over time, that really softened. It's unusual now for me to have tightness there. And I began to see how that was a strategy to protect myself. It wasn't a conscious thing. I know actually, I think we all do, that just having tight muscles in the back of our neck and shoulders doesn't actually protect us from anything. But there's some kind of a reflex there. As you're breathing out, notice the, the back of your body, in particular the back of the neck, your shoulders, your upper back, between the shoulder blades. And as you let that soften, notice that there's many layers. There's the, the obvious contraction in the muscles, the tightness in the muscle. There's that feeling of energy or sensation even after the muscles have softened a bit. You might be thinking about what I've just been saying about the body, about the contraction. Maybe there's memories coming up. Maybe you're arguing in your mind. That's not true, that it's not protective. But whatever's going on in your mind, let that go a bit to the background now and just sit with the pure sensation in the back of your neck and shoulders, your upper back. If you're lying down and you're supported through the back or if you're lying back against a chair, you could really let that whole area soften completely. What does that feel like? Mm. 
As you breathe in, keep your attention in the same location. And then as you breathe out, notice if it could soften a bit more. You can move your neck and shoulders around a bit too, if it feels like that would help. If you were to say to yourself, I feel 100% comfortable relaxing my whole body from head to toes. It feels safe right now to rest. Notice your experience in terms of your reaction to that or Sometimes thoughts will come into the mind about that, but we're not so interested in thoughts. We're just noticing what is your direct felt experience with that. It's safe for me to rest right now. Take a few deeper breaths as well. Notice what that feels like in your body. If you were to breathe in deeply, you can feel that through the rib cage, through the mid back, even maybe up to the top part of the chest and the upper back. And then long, slow, easy out breath. Let yourself experience the softening that can happen on the out breath. And we're working with the unconscious mind. Sensations in the body are stored as unconscious thoughts generally. And when we really tune in to the energy and sensations in our body, sometimes the thoughts that are associated with them come forward and we can see those. And we can also be with or be attending to the sensations, the experience in the body, really directly. Notice your whole body from head to toes. What is the felt sense or your experience in a sensory basis of being in your body right now? Can you tune into your whole body? Are there parts of your body that feel kind of blocked? Often there's some kind of tension or pain that attracts our attention. Notice your forehead and eyebrows, your mouth and jaw. neck and shoulders down into your arms, your hands. Are your arms and hands at rest? Or are they kind of revved up, waiting to go? For a few breaths, let your attention flow from your shoulders down through your upper arms and lower arms. And let any tension or tightness through your shoulders or arms drain out through your hands and fingers. If you're visual, you might imagine a warm tropical shower. Muscles relaxing and softening.
come down through your whole body to your legs and feet and notice if they are at rest. Sometimes we have a feeling of restlessness. And on a conscious mind level, we could let our legs and arms know that it's okay to rest. And then go right into the sensations. What is the felt sense in your upper legs, the front of your thighs, the back of your thighs, your knees, behind your knees, muscles of your calves, your shins at the front of the legs. What about your ankle joints? The spaces between your toes. The soles of your feet. And bring your attention up through your legs, through your torso through your fingers and hands, up to the shoulders and neck, up to the top of the head. And then let it flow down through your body as you breathe out. Letting go with every exhalation. Let go of tension. Let go of tightness. Let go of worry or fear, or anxiety. Bring your attention from the top of the head down through your face, your jaw, neck and shoulders, through your arms and hands. And another out breath through the core of your body, through the back and front of your torso. Through your legs, down through your feet. Take your time. You could do this over several breaths if you wanted. Aware of your whole entire body, head to toes. And when we notice there's tightness in the body or a lot of thought about something going on, we could rest with that too. We don't have to have complete silence to rest actually. Focus in on your breath. Notice how our body is moving with the breath. If you have bigger breaths, you can notice it in a larger location. It might go all the way up into the upper ribs. Once we're settled and resting, the breath is generally kind of quiet. There's not a large location. We could really notice the subtle feeling of the breath. The muscles lengthen as we breathe in, the stomach rises. Our belly softens as we breathe out, comes back towards the spine. Allow the softening and the ease of the out breath to spread that softening to the whole of your body. Notice again through the face, the forehead, the eyebrows, your eyes.
Notice what's going on behind your forehead and your brain. Are there a lot of thoughts there? If there are, we could take a moment, just see what it is that's coming and going in the thought stream. And notice that thoughts come and go in a space. There's kind of a literal space of the brain. There's also the space of our awareness and our attention. They arise out of silence and they go back into silence. There's not always thoughts going on in the brain, even if it might feel like that sometimes. See if you could stay aware of thought for a moment, even as you're aware of your whole body and of the rhythm of the breath. While you're doing that, notice the forehead, the softness of the forehead, your eyebrows, your eyes. Just like we might notice the sensation of our body moving with our breath, we can notice thoughts that come and go in the mind. That's a natural process in our system. And we notice sometimes we get engaged in thought and other times we're able to watch or witness thought. Also a very normal part of our system. Notice what else is going on in your body. Maybe you could soften your jaw. Check in again with the neck and shoulders. Anchor again to your breath, and the movement of your body with your breath and your belly. And exhale and inhale. Be aware of your breath, be aware of your body, your whole experience in your body. Notice your relationship with your experience. Is it okay with you that you had the practice that you just had, the amount of resting or the amount of restlessness or the amount of thought or the amount of stillness? What's your relationship with that? Is it okay? that it is what it is. And then when you're ready, we're just about finished. Notice your whole body again, notice your breath and open your eyes.